Good morning, Year One. I hope you're all well. Today is RE Day, which is very exciting because we're going to be learning all about a new religion. Now, what religion are we going to learn about today? Well, let's find out. Miss Bainey is going to share her screen and we'll find out what religion you'll be learning all about today. So today we're learning all about humanism. Can we say humanism? Humanism. One more time. Humanism. Have you ever heard about humanism, the religion for? Hands up if you've heard about humanism. Not that many of us. So let's find out more about what is humanism. Now, what do humanists believe? So people who are a part of humanism are called humanists. So what do they believe? They believe human beings are special and human life is valuable. They don't believe in a God or gods or believe we can't know if there is a God. Human beings can find different ways to be happy and they also believe that human beings should be good to each other. Humanists believe that human beings are special Humanists celebrate the many things human beings have achieved. So looking at the pictures there, have a think about all the fantastic things that humans across the world have achieved. They think about what makes human beings so special and they think about what great things have human beings achieved. Can you pause the video and think about what humans have achieved across the world OK, can you tell me one thing that humans have achieved across the world since we have been on the planet? Can you tell me something? Amazing. So in science, we have discovered new things. We have learned about new areas around the world. We have discovered new animals, both on land and in the sea. We have created many fantastic inventions and have discovered more about the world. So uh, human beings are so special because we have achieved so much and we have discovered so many things and learned so much about the world that we live in. Humanists don't believe in a God or gods. So compared to other religions, we have learned where they believe in a God or gods. Humanists don't believe in any or they believe we can't know if a god or gods exist. They don't see any good evidence, so they can't find any proof that a god or gods exists. That's what evidence means, they can't find any proof. For humanists, the most important thing is not whether you believe in a god or not, but how you live your life. Humanists believe we can be good and happy without the need for gods or religion. So that's what they think the most important thing is, how you live your life, if you're living in a good way and if you are a happy person. So they don't think to be happy and to live a good life, you need a God or you need religion. Now, this is the symbol for humanism. Now, what do you think this picture looks like? I want you to pause the video and have a think. What do you think this picture looks like? Can you tell me what do you think this picture is? Shout it out in three, two, one. Amazing, we've got so many fantastic ideas. So I think this might look like a person standing up nice and tall, stretching their arms and stretching their legs with the circle being their face. Did you have a similar idea or did you have something different? So humanists believe there are different ways to be happy. They think that we are lucky to be alive and we should make the most out of our lives. So there's a saying where we should live every day to the fullest. We should make the most out of our lives because we're very lucky to be alive right now and we need to be living in the here and now. So happiness is the only good. The place 
to be happy is here. The time to be happy is now. The way to, to, to be happy is to make others so. And that was a quote by a humanist called Robert Engelosso in 1833 to 1899. And this is a symbol of the happy humans. As humans, we're all trying to be really happy and make the most out of our days. Every day is very important and we should live it to the fullest. We need to be happy now, not thinking about I'll be happy next week or next month living every day to the fullest because we are very lucky to be alive and that's what humanists believe so that is their symbol the happy human and i think they also look very happy standing tall stretching their arms i'm sure they've got a big smile on their face as well so humanists have ceremonies some humanists, humanists will celebrate naming ceremonies and humanist weddings so later today you'll be finding more about humanist naming ceremonies the love and support of other people and our relationships with them are very important so humanists believe that celebrating with others are very important because of the love and support you get from friends and family so the naming ceremony and weddings are very important to them Humanists value being good as a very important thing as a part of their religion. They think, how can I know what is the right thing to do? Humanists have no holy books or religious leaders. They don't have a special book or a special person to look at to get the right information or for guidance. So instead, rather than having a holy book or religious leader, they use reason and empathy. So reason is your thinking about the consequences that an action might have. So if you do something good, what's a consequence? Or also if you do something bad, what is the consequence going to be of that? They also have empathy and they use empathy to make decisions. So you think about how others will feel. So similarly, if you do something good to somebody, how are you going to make that person feel? But also if you did something bad to somebody, how is that going to make them feel? So using reason and empathy to decide what is the right thing to do rather than looking to a holy book or religious leader for the answer. They also have a golden rule. Their golden rule is to treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. And you might think that's quite familiar because lots of other religions have a similar golden rule and they do not treat others in a way you would not like to be treated yourself. So later today, I will be teaching a lesson all about their golden rule and you'll be finding more about what humanists believe about treating others. Now, we have got a very exciting quiz and I know in your one, we love our quizzes. So right now, I would like you to pause the video and go and grab maybe a whiteboard and a pen, a scrap piece of paper and a pencil, anything that you have to write down your answers. So pause the video here. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to go grab something that you can write on. So off you go. OK, we're ready for question number one. Amazing. Question number one. Humanist A, believe in one God, B, believe in many gods or C, don't believe in a God or gods. Write down your answer. OK, ready to find out the answer? Drum roll, please. The answer is C. Humanists don't believe in a God or God. So give yourself a tick if you got that right. Well done for getting question one correct. Ready for question two? You sure? OK, let's move on. Question two. Humanists believe A. We should always accept the answer we are given or B. We should think about answers for ourselves and ask questions about things that don't make sense. Write down your answer, either A or B. Pause the video and come back when you're ready to find out the answer. OK, ready to find the answer? Question two, humanist belief. Drum roll. B, 
we should think about answers for ourselves and ans and ask questions about things that don't make sense. So we shouldn't accept the answer that we're given. We should ask questions and find out things for ourselves. So well done if you've got B. Give yourself a tick if you got two correct. Well done. You ready for question three? Question three. Humanists believe A. We can do anything we like that makes us happy. B. We are free to find our own way to be happy as long as we don't harm other people. Or C. There is only one way to be happy. What do you think the answer is? Pause the video and write down your answer and come back when you're ready to find out. OK, humanists believe. Let's find out. Drum roll. It was B. Humanists believe we are free to find our own ways to be happy as long as we don't harm other people. So they really value being happy, but making sure your happiness isn't harming or affecting other people and making them maybe sad or upset. And question four. Humanist naming ceremonies and weddings, A, take place wherever the people involved want, or B, take place in a church. So have a think. Humanist naming ceremonies and weddings take place wherever the people involved want, or B, they take place in a church. Write down your answer and pause the video and come back when you're ready to find out what the answer is for question number four. Ready to find out the answer? OK, drum roll. is A. They take place wherever the people involved want to. So their name ceremonies and weddings can take place wherever they want. They don't happen in a church with a B because we know that Christians t get married in a church as it is their holy place of worship. But humanists can get married or have their name and ceremony wherever they want to, whether that be inside a building or outside somewhere else. And question five, humanists believe we can work out how to be good by A, thinking about how other people will feel or B, following rules in a book. So humanists believe we can work out how to be good by A, thinking about how other people will feel or B, following rules in books. What do you think the answer is? Write down A or B, pause the video. When you have come back, you can find out the answer. OK, ready to find the answer? Humanists believe we can work out how to be good by drumroll. Thinking about how other people will feel. So when we learn about reason and empathy, that's how we can figure out how to be good. They don't have a holy book or religious leaders, so they are thinking about empathy and consequences. Now, ending our introduction to humanism, we want to think of possible ingredients of happiness. So here I have some ideas about possible ingredients of happiness. We have food and drink, friends, family, money, gifts, games and gadgets, a big house, music, exploring the world, being kind to others, learning new things, completing something difficult, good health, your religion or belief. So these are some possible ideas of happiness to some people, but you might not agree with them all. Which ones do you agree with? That'll make you happy in life. So maybe you want to read through them all and select maybe four. So that make you the most happy. So pause the video here and maybe write down the ones that make you the most happy in life. And if you want to challenge yourself, why not write down some extra things that are good ingredients for happiness? So pause the video and have a go. OK, which ingredients did you write down to make you happy? Can you tell me?
Amazing. Did you make up, up any of yourself? Fantastic. You might have all different ingredients to make you happy and that is amazing. Then we all have different things that make us happy and that is what makes us individuals. Now, that is the end of our introduction to humanism and now you have three lessons to complete where you'll be learning more about different things in humanism and I can't wait to see all your work on Seesaw. So have a great day and I can't wait to see all your work. So good luck.